Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are keeping safe and sound in times like these. Today in this video, I've got a bit of spare time. Waiting for so many parts, for the lathe, for the quad, for the cars, everything, just waiting for everything. Delivery's quite slow just now. So, what I thought I would do today, just uh, because I got a little bit of time, is take that Daihatsu Mairi engine, you know, the fucked one, and we'll just strip it down. We'll have a look and see what's inside it, and see if it's all the bits are falling apart, or, you know, I'm expecting the crank to be fucked, basically. Let's pull it out from the corner, we're gonna get one of them blue boxes, and, uh, Strip it down and stick all the bits in there. So here we have it, the little Daihatsu Mairi engine. Yes, it's a three-cylinder turbo, 660cc of pure Japanese goodness. I've not got myself an engine stand, so we'll be doing this pretty much on the floor. Hey oh, hiya. Look at her tattoo on her foot. Wow. On her foot. Oh, is it Ilsa? Ilsa, no, it's... Someone else. Oh. She went to show daddy. Oh, a nice one. Well, Rosie, come and see this. We're taking apart an engine. We're doing it one handed. <laughs> yes. And the manifold off. Easy. Hot damn. This wee thing's been ported. Now to get turbo off. Hmm. Rusty seized bolts. <laughs> I'm broken! <sighs> yes. Right, now I'm gonna whip off all this shit and I'm pretty sure the engine's seized, so hopefully this bolt comes easy enough. I'll probably crack it off. Impact gun definitely helps with stuff like that, by the way. <laughs> Yeehaw! Let's get this off. <sighs> hmm. One last bolt to go. <laughs> Let's try that again. <sighs> That's better. Sometimes you just really need to take a run up. You know, to kick off the rocker car. But sometimes it's the only way. Oh, look at this simplicity and beauty. That's what we want, guys. Right, so the proper way to take cams out is uh, you want to undo the bolts, um, you know, in a sort of spiral pattern, I think it's outside to in, but because uh, you can snap the camshaft. I'm not doing that. Scope cam, let's scope cam this bitch. Oh, gonna have to get a socket in for that in. Socket for them ends. In fact, no! I'm not gonna admit defeat. I like using my impact gun. Let's just pull off the pulley. I think we'll do that instead. Yeah, and it crack the pulleys off, you just oh. God, strength of an absolute demon. There's the pickups. Look at that, disgusting. Hmm. So if we're gonna go speed we know on one of these things, we're probably gonna have to put like a, a 36 minus one in. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh. And Right guys, sorry to disappoint you, but I've not got a bit for the impact gun for the head bolts. Um, just have to use his Allen key and it doesn't really seem to fit best and much. Actually... <laughs> Ooh. Oh, beautiful. Half inch as well. Like a glove. 
compressor needs to start up soon, so I'm losing wind. I'm losing wind. Come on. You can do it. Oh, one more. One more. Oh, yes. <laughs> we washers at the bottom of them. Let's put them in here. Because I don't know if they're stretch bolts or not, but we will be reusing them when the time comes. In fact, you know what? They're probably not even head bolts, they're probably just Allen key bolts. But I don't slag that stuff because if it works, it's not stupid. Let's get a sledgehammer and get a wee tap. Let's see if uh, she budges. Or I could just use my foot. Handoken! Golden! This is when all the buckets fall out the bottom of it and I forget where they come from. Let's look at the block. Gasket looks kind of oval. Is it supposed to be like that? Who knows? Nobody knows. Nobody will know. These are like little dished pistons. Cool. A wee bit of blackness here, that's probably from oil smokiness. And I'm assuming the smokiness from these barrels because they're shiny so they'll definitely need a bit of a hone oh my god there's a lot of play in there yeah so top end's done let's flip this thing upside down and have a look underneath and just use this impact gun to um no we we'll use this impact gun to take off to some bolts mm-hmm what i'm thinking is uh, the bottom end's gone. So I should really take that all in air off, but I'm stubborn. I'm not going to admit defeat. It's throwing the balance way out. Professional chip. Chip, chip, tip. Uh, <coughs> use like a dirty old paint scraper. It's better. Like this. Hit it with the side of the hammer, like that. Just going to slide around. What's that noise? Why is it hissing? Oh, it's begun. It's time. It's time. What have we got under here? <gasps> oh! That one looks cooked. That one looks alright. That one looks alright. Oh no! That's not necessarily a good thing because I'm I'm thinking. The crank's going to be fucked as well. It's most likely going to be fucked, let's be honest. So, yeah, it looks like the owner heard the knocking and just tried to hold on the limiter for a while to see if, you know, um, to see if the knocking would kind of clear up. <laughs> yeah, you can see the metallicness of the oil. Oh, yeah, by the way, see that uh, sump nut? That's seized. I never drained the oil with it. Um, that's how much oil, and that's how much oil came out of it. So there was probably a, there was probably a good 500 ml of oil in this thing. So yeah, so that's not so good. Um, what we could do though is we'll pull all the caps off the pistons. We'll whip them out. We'll mark them up. Um, we'll have a look at the shells. Have a look at the crank, and uh, we'll take off the mains as well and uh, see how they're looking. Naturally. We're going to use the only tool for the job, you know. I'll show you a wee tip. Oh, put the right one on. It definitely helps if you have the right size on there. If you just do that, you kind of get them cracked off a little bit. And uh, to, split, to split the cap and the rod, split the cap and the rod, just uh, give them a little tap like that. So we did. Now the shells are not coming easy. But yeah, first things first. Things don't look good. I mean, that's 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 shell. So this this is going to be pretty fucked. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. There is not really much of a shell left here. 
She's definitely, definitely fucked. You can see the sort of uh, remaindering parts here of the shell. And the crank looks pretty fucked, but I've got a lathe now. It'd be interesting to see if I could polish that up. Folk are going to be cringing right now watching this, eh? That's like a no-no. But gotta remember, this is pretty rugged engine. Oh, this is so hideously fucked. Check the lip on that, both sides. The bearing has been spinning in here and it's been wearing down the actual corn rod. And under further inspection, I've also cracked the ringland. But I've got to say, actually, yeah, when I was going to say I can't see any detonation, that pit and marks here, focus in, that is a true sign of detonation. Like it's been sandblasted. This thing's been detting like fuck. Right, and now that that rod is gone, the rest actually spins over freely, which is nice. So, if all going well, we might, and I say we might, get away with uh, getting a new rod and a bearing and cleaning up that journal. Yeah. She's cracked the piston as well. That's mainly down to detonation. That's probably why it was smoking so bad. Hopefully the rest of the pistons are uh, okay. Chances are they're also cracked. Yeah, so number three, she's quite badly scored, uh, but she's not spun yet. I'll clean this up. And for cleaning her up, I just use a bit of petrol. Er, gasolina, eh? Eh, it's eh? Gasolina. Yeah, looks like there was a bit of debt on there as well. That peppering. Slight score in here, slight score in there. But, in all saying that, this piston is not cracked. So we'll probably use this bitch again. Last but not least, number two. God damn it. Yo, <coughs> right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take off the oil pump. We're gonna have a look under there, just in case, just in case the oil pump itself shat itself. I don't wanna blame the owner, to as I know the owner, and it probably has been run dry of oil. If you're watching this, Rob, you can who you are. <laughs> can, buddy. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look, because if the oil pump gears are that shattered inside, that can obviously cause oil starvation and uh, oil starvation will call cause the bottom end to go so uh, yeah what I'll do is I'll pull this apart and uh, we'll have a look to see if any of the pump gears are shard hmm so first glance Oil pump looks okay. It's a tiny wee pump, jeez oh. No cracks. Doesn't look too bad for scoring either, so uh, yeah, that'll be reusable. Yeah. So yeah, it's looking more and more like it was uh, starved oil. What can happen, uh, and I've seen this before, People maybe overlook bottom end issues, but detonation itself can actually cause you to your bottom end to go. So how it works with detonation, obviously the explosion and combustion happens before the um, the pistons at top dead center. There's an immense heat there and immense pressure trying to push down. That peak cylinder pressure happens before the pistons even at the top, and that force as well. You know we're talking like. Well, we're talking like thousand, a thousand bar of pressure in detonation. It's, it's, it's mental. So that pressure itself pushes right down on the rod, and that then can cause the bearing to squish against the mains, um, and that 
knock itself can cause the, the bearing to bite into the crank and eventually over time it can start wearing and what it looks like it's done there has just got worse and worse and worse it's worn itself into like a, a gap and a shape and it's just pretty much self-destructed itself so um, yeah that, that, that can happen actually but there's evidence of detonation on all pistons um, it's not massive I mean we haven't melted any pistons however we have cracked one um, so and that is the one that's gone so it might have been an, a faulty injector on that cylinder as well that can cause detonation to go down but we won't know that unless we tested all the injectors uh, these things can happen in any engine in fact the new engine we just put in the Myra just now is knocking and that thing came through the scrappy is good so why is that knocking nobody knows but what we'll probably end up doing is pulling that engine and seeing if we can make one good one out of uh, two in fact we can't because we still need to get shells anyway Back to it. Let's put this oil pump back together again. I'm happy with that. It's, it doesn't look too bad and uh, we'll pull the crank out and have a look at the mains. Let's give these a bit of a chap and uh, pull them off. So here we have it. We're at the mains. Taking the mains off. Yeah, there's some uh, bad scoring on them as well and on the crank and I can actually feel a wee step here worn pretty sure this crank's fucked tiny little crank so I'm scoring on the mains as well so um, the mains is going to be fucked so we'll probably need a new set of mains as well in fact we will need a new set of mains probably another crank which we've got in the other car. It looks like probably one of the only salvageable parts is uh, the block itself. So yeah, um, it only took me an hour or something like that to take that thing apart. It wasn't too bad. It's again just undoing bolt. So yeah, it's looking more and more like it's oil starvation rather than detonation. Uh, because the mains themselves have also started scratching up, it's looking like, you know, it looks like it's oil starvation. So yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to like, subscribe. In fact, if you didn't like the video, just give it a big down thumb, mate. I, I don't mind to take corrective criticism happily or something like that. I like a bit of banter. I'm not a professional. I'm just a guy DIYing it, doing it for myself, having a bit of fun, finding sort of stuff out, discovering new techniques and stuff. Just stuff. I like doing stuff. I always show when something's gone tits up as well. A lot of people won't show the downsides and the bad side of things. I like to show everything because if you guys are going to do this stuff yourself, you're going to come across the same things I've done. I want to give you a little bit of heads up, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of see and how to do things and what to look out for. So anyway guys, thanks for watching this video and uh, we'll catch you in the next vid. Cheers!